Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Garede. In this video, we are going to discussing about exploring the options under Manage Jenkins. Okay, let's see the overview and demo. Okay, see, I have logged into the Jenkins. As I said, like Manage Jenkins is a backbone of Jenkins. Okay, inside the Manage Jenkins, we can declare all the configuration. If you want to create the uh, users, if you want to take the backup, if you want to install any plugins, you can do inside the Manage Jenkins only. Now we can discuss uh, each and every option inside the Manage Jenkins. Click this manage Jenkins. Currently, first one is configure system. Click this one. Inside the configure system, we can declare like a configuration level. Example, if you want to configure uh, Nexus, JFrog, okay, Sonar Cube, everything we can configure inside the configure system. And, and also, if you have any, and if you observe here inside the configure system, you can be able to know where we install the what is the default uh, Jenkins path, okay, Padlib Jenkins. And also, if you, if you want to change the number of executors, currently we have two, right? And also, if you want to change any labels, if you want to define, and here we have an option, use this node as much as possible. It means if this particular server is uh, master is available, it will be take, uh, if you run the job, it will be uh, use this node as much as possible, okay? Quite period. And also, if you want to change this particular Jenkins location, if you, are, if you want to change it. And also, if you, if you want to add any global level libraries, also you can add it here only, okay? Not only here, majority will be used like JFrog configuration, Sonar key will configuration. And also if you want to configure email notification, okay, you can declare here only. Okay, what is right? Next one, global tool configuration. If you want to define that uh, tools configuration globally, you can define here. Example, you can define here. Uh, we can define Maven, Gradle, okay, JDK, Git, Okay, Gradle also and Maven. We can, we can declare multiple uh, tools. If you want to define a global level, you can come to this global tool configuration. We can configure it. Remember this video, I'm going to uh, explain theory part, later part, each and every uh, option we will be using in our course, then you will get more idea, okay? Go to the manage engine. And here we have a manage plugins, right? What are the uses of manage plugins? If you want to install any plugins, you can use this one. Click this manage plugin. Here we have total four, Four options. One is updates. Currently, if we have any updates plugins, you can able to be here. Example, credentials, folder plugin. Those are it came updates. Okay. Here available. Available means whatever available plugins you can able to be here. Example, I want to install Maven. Okay. For Maven, we have a Maven integration plugin. If you see here, I type it Maven integration. Okay. If you see here, the plugin is available. Okay. In case if you already install the plugin. You can't able to view here. It will be available in install plugin. Click the install. Now you can check it here. Example, I'm checking the Maven. Maven is not already installed, right? That's why it's saying it is, we are not able to view anything. Example, it is already installed Git. If you click the Git, Git is already installed. The reason is when you install the Jenkins, we have selected suggested plugins, right? That is the reason Git is already installed. Other right? Coming to the advanced. If you have any specific, uh, you have implemented your own plugin, if you want to load that particular plugin inside the Jenkins, you can use this advanced session. You can update your HTTP proxy configuration. If you want to upload your plugin, you can do it. In case if you have the plugin is available in specific URL, you can upload and you can deploy it. Okay. This option we won't use because majority we won't create uh, our customized images. Okay. We'll be use existing images only. Okay. Remember when you install the plugin, first you have to verify and install. Some of the use cases, what will happen in some, some, some of the, uh, you know, in our project, one guy is already installed the plugin. Okay. You may not aware. Okay. If you are trying to install, uh, going to the available session, you are trying to install one plugin, but the plugin is not available. The reason is it is already installed, right? If it's already installed, it won't be visible in available section. Okay. Are you right? Next one. Come back, manage Jenkins. Now manage nodes and clouds. As I said, like we have a master node, slave nodes, right? If you want to create any specific uh, node, slave node, you can come here and you can create. By default, it is a master node, built-in node. And if you see here, it is a Linux and uh, for how much uh, space is available, everything you can be able to view. When you run the specific job, the default it is be running master node only. If you want to create, we have option new, new node, you can create it. I will show you later, okay? Click the manage Jenkins and come here. Configure global security. If you want to define any uh, global level security, you can uh, come here and you can de define here. Example, if you want to configure LDAP, okay? Here, if you see here, authorization level, you can uh, set up the LDAP. Currently, we don't have, we are not, sorry, here. Security VLM, okay? If you see here, we have a LDAP. 
you can configure if you want to configure LDAP, you can configure okay inside the configure global security. And in case if you want to open the agent port numbers, you can open the port number, specific port number, inbound agent. Okay. And you can de define this majorly will be used this for one is in our course will be used for agent uh, enabling the port number. And also we can use uh, here uh, authorization level, role based authorization. Once you install the plugin, you can able to read this one. Okay. The main ag agenda of this uh, session is configure global security. You can define the security related configuration at the global level. Okay. Click uh, manage and kill. Leaves. Okay. Next, manage credentials. If you whatever if you have created any credentials, you can able to be here. Okay, everything we can create at a global level. If you click this global level, you can able to view. Currently, we don't have any global level we haven't created. That's why we are not able to see. If you want to create a global level, click this add credential. Here you can select whether you want to create a username with password or you, you want to create a GitHub app. You, you want to set up uh, create a SSH username with private key, or if you want to upload any secret file, if you want to keep it as secret test, okay. You can declare here, you can add it. Okay, we can do whatever you want. Okay, the, if you when you create here, it will be available global level. Global level means you can use enter Jenkins anywhere. If you set up here the credentials, those credentials you can use and enter Jenkins any job level you can be able to view and you can be able to use there. Okay, got it right? We can I, I will create a later part like uh, Nexus, Sonar Cube, okay, JFrog, and also Git related configuration will be created in global level only. Click the manage Jenkins. And config credential provider, you don't require, you can ignore it. Manage users. See, if you want to create the users, we can create it. Currently, we have only one user. If you want to create, we have a create user, we can create it. Remember, some of the projects, they may not use uh, LDAP. Okay. If that is the case, we will be creating users manually and we can provide the access to them. Okay. And also, we have role based uh, access strategy also. We have option. We can see that option also in later part. Click the manage in case. And here, if you want to see the system information, you can click this one. You can see here what is the uh, Java version, what is the path of that particular Jenkins. You can able to view everything here. Okay, we see here that Java, Java home directory environment variable valid Jenkins, the Java underscore home is a valid Jenkins. Okay, everything you can able to view here. If you want, you can see the system information. You can come to here. You can view that particular system level information. Okay, if you want to see the system loss, you can click this one. Here you can see the system log. Remember, if you click the all Jenkins log, you can able to view some of the use cases. What will happen? You are trying to install uh, some of the plugin, but uh, plugin is not installing properly. It is failing. Okay, if that is the case. You can come to this logs. You can verify here what exactly happening. Okay, you can able to view here. That is right. Click the manage Jenkins. And next one, load statistics. Load statistics is nothing but. How much load is occupying? For example, if you are running same Jenkins job, if you are running thousands of jobs, hundreds of jobs, it may take a CPU and memory how much, right? You can able to view here, load statistics. Okay, if you see here, online executors, busy executors, queue length, available executors, you can able to view everything here. Okay, next one, come down, about Jenkins. You can see here about Jenkins, it is related to Jenkins. Okay, here these are the commands if you want to use it. Remember, we won't use CLI command in Jenkins. Okay, we'll be configuring everything in Jenkins job only. Even interview level also, no one will ask. The reason is they also have error. We won't use the CLI command. We'll be do everything in Jenkins GUI only. Okay, got it right? Next, manage old data. If you want to manage the old data, you can use it. And if you want to reload configuration from this, for example, you have something if you want to uh, make some changes. Okay, if you want to reload the particular uh, configuration, you can use it. But real time, you won't use much this one. You can ignore it. Coming to here, Jenkins CLI. If you want to see the CLI commands, you can able to be here. But again, I'm telling in real time, you won't use the CLI command. Okay, no need to worry about this one. No need to spend time also. Okay. Example, if you want to create add job to view, if you want to create the, if you want to copy the job, you can use this one. If you want to create the create a job, we can click this one. We have a command. But if we won't use, you can ignore this one also. Don't spend much time for the CLI part. Okay, we won't use. No one will ask in interval level also. No need to worry. Okay, script console. If you want to run any script here, you can run the script. It will be running inside the Jenkins server. This is the Groovy script. It will support. You can run the Groovy script here. Okay. Next to manage Jenkins, come down here. 
prepare for shutdown. If you want to shut down your Jenkins, you can use this one. Prepare for shutdown. When you click this shutdown, what will happen? If any jobs is running, it will be stopped and it will be shut down the particular Jenkins. Okay. This one also we won't use much. In real time, majorly we will be used. One is configure system, manage plugins, global tool configuration. And we also, when you set up that uh, slave nodes, we will be used manage nodes. And next one is if you want to configure global level, you can use it. In case if you want to create a users, you can use manage users. Okay, we can create the global level uh, credential. And here, this we won't use in case if something happened, if you want to see the logs, we can use this system log. Okay, and then if you want to run any script, okay, then we can use script console. These are the options majorly we'll be using, using real time. Okay, I hope you understand that what are the options is available. Just we saw the theory part, later what we will be seeing in practical as well. You will get more idea on that one. Okay, I hope you understand that. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will try to respond as soon as possible. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next video.